Let's look at reversing a document in SAP. There will be many scenarios when you might have to reverse a document which has already been posted. For example, a user might enter an incorrect amount or some other incorrect data in the fields. So hence it might be required for you to reverse a document. There can also be chances where you might have paid an invoice two times or more than that. Then th that time also you might have to reverse the additional document posted. So because of all these different scenarios, SAP has given you the functionality to reverse a document. So there are two options to reverse a document. One is the normal reversal posting. This is the standard and the recommended practice when reversing a document. The other option is, is to post a negative posting. For example, if you have posted $500, you do a posting for minus $500. This is a very rarely used scenario and uh, it's always better to use the normal reversal posting method. Now let's look at an example of the normal reversal posting. For example, you have made an entry for a vendor invoice. Standard accounting practice for vendor invoice is credit the vendor and debit the expenses. As you can see, I have highlighted this in red fonts. So for example, you might have posted these entries incorrectly and you might need to correct this posting. So when you do a normal reversal in SAP, the system will post a debit of 500, which is opposite of what was posted initially for a vendor and credit of 500 for the expenses which was the opposite of the original expense posting. I have shown this in green as a correction posting. So this is what the system will do during the reversal posting. So the offsetting result is, you can see this 500 was the original one in red. The green one was the reversal transaction. Similarly, the other way also. So the offset amount is zero. That is the final result. Once again, if this was your original posting with credit 500 for vendor and debit 500 for expenses, then the system when you do a reversal of this document, it will do the opposite postings. And then offsetting result will be zero for both the vendor and expense line item of that document. This is pretty much a common logic used over here. Now when you reverse a document, you need to specify a reversal reason. That means, why are you going to reverse this document? For example, you can specify some reason uh, and you can also post the same doc reversal document in the current period or a previous period. But the period has to be opened for it to do that. Now if a document has cleared items, what is cleared items? We discussed in our earlier presentations about open items. So if an open item has been cleared, it's called a cleared item. So if a document already has a cleared item, then it cannot be reversed. So first, the document has to be reset. That means to take away the cleared status. And then you can reverse that document. Let me give you a practical example. You have outstanding vendor payment of $100. It will debit the vendor for $100 and it will clear the vendor outstanding payments. Now you identified that you have incorrectly made the payment and you need to reverse that document. Then system will not allow you to reverse till you remove the cleared status of those two entries, the debit 100 and credit 100. So you need to perform the reset transaction in SAP. And once you do the reset transaction, then both the entries will be an open item entry and then you can go ahead and proceed with the reversal posting. Now this scenario does not happen often. Usually when you do an entry, you will be able to go and reverse it immediately. Unless of course it's a in the cleared status. Let's look at negative posting. Negative posting means you'll be doing an